Hello everyone, my name is Nagura and today I'm going to give you a rundown of the Gunner class and all its advanced classes for Lost Ark. The team over at Amazon Games have sponsored me to create this video, so big shout out to them and let's get started. Why would you want to play Gunner? All the advanced Gunner classes are DPS focused, all of them being powerful ranged attackers. The appeal of the Gunner is consistent heavy damage from a safe distance. Now there's one exception in the subclasses, which I'll get to later, but the generally allure of gunplay, the rule of cool, and feeling like that ranged badass is why you'll want to go Gunner. Let's start off with Gunslinger. The Gunslinger wields pistols, a shotgun, and a rifle. A Gunslinger can freely switch between each of these weapons depending on your current needs. The pistols are your standard weapon stance of choice, the shotgun is your best option for short range burst area of effect damage, and lastly, the rifle is your best pick for long range damage. You can choose which ability you want to use for each of those weapons and then freely switch between them. There's a nice indicator in the middle of your user interface showing how many abilities are ready and how many are still on cooldown for the two weapons you currently are not using. Let's talk about each weapon in a bit more detail, starting off with your handgun stance. This is your basic fighting stance, suitable for quickly attacking enemies in a relatively large area. Your basic attack turns into a quick double tap from your handgun with a medium range that can pierce through enemies. Some handgun abilities are Somersault Shot, a forward jump while also firing your handguns looking pretty badass. And Equilibrium fires both of your handguns across a broad area around your character. Moving on to shotgun stance. Shotgun is great at close combat, dealing a huge amount of damage with a high chance to break gear or stagger enemies. Your auto attacks turn into a short to mid-range shotgun attack. Some abilities are Hour of Judgment Fires three bullets in a cone-shaped area. If you hit a target with a bullet, it will scatter behind the target doing additional area of effect damage. And Last Request fires a powerful explosive bullet doing a big amount of damage and launching enemies into the air. Last but not least, Rifle Stance. Rifle Stance is for long range attacks. Your auto attack turns into high range, big damage shot and some of the rifle abilities are Catastrophe. Throws a claymore at the target location and detonates it. Make sure to release it at the correct time. Perfect Shot fires a high speed, large caliber bullet and if you release it during the perfect time, you do additional damage and knock back enemies. Now to the Awakening abilities. High caliber HE bullet shoots one big bullet forward that creates a large rare blast. This is a very high range. An Eye of Twilight might just be the coolest I am the main character ability in the game. Now if you look at your watch and the time is always high noon, or you are looking for an easy to learn slash hard to master subclass, the Gunslinger is a flavorsome and fun class that feels great. Moving on to Deadeye. Do you know Gunfu? Deadeye does. The male counterpart to the Gunslinger retains the ability to switch between weapons depending on the situation and has a lot of similar abilities to the Gunslinger. Deadeye is a more punishing advanced class in comparison to Gunslinger though, but the reward is a high skill ceiling that better players can abuse. Same as for the Gunslinger, the three weapons you can switch between are Handgun, Rifle and Shotgun. Some abilities are Spiral Tracker, throws a handgun at the target location and does area of effect damage for 15 hits. Meteor Stream fires bullets into the air and calls them down like meteors. And Deathfire hits all nearby enemies in a cool blossom of lead and death. Moving on to Shotgun Stance. Shotgun Rapid Fire does exactly what you think it does, unleashing three heavy short range attacks in quick sequence. Shotgun Dominator fires two shotguns followed by a finishing shot that knocks down enemies. And last but not least, Rifle Stance. Spiral Flame is a line attack that charges up and launches a powerful flame bullet in a line that sets everything ablaze in its path. And Aim Shot fires four rounds of high caliber bullets and you are able to change direction as the ability is going off. Now the most interesting part, the Awakening skills. Dead Eye's Awakening skills are Bursting Flare, which is an insane triple tap line attack dealing a huge amount of damage and knocking enemies away. And Clay Bombardment is an area of effect ability, throwing multiple explosives around you, then burst firing your handgun at them and launching enemies into the air. To summarize again, Deadeye and Gunslinger are very similar, Deadeye being one of the more punishing advanced classes. But the reward is a high skill ceiling that better players can abuse. 
Let's talk about artillerists. What's the point of playing a gunner if you're not gonna use the biggest guns available to you that would make an 80s action film blush? Blast the face of your enemies with the shotgun-esque buckshot? Melt mobs in satisfying AoE using the flamethrower? Fill them full of holes with the disgustingly satisfying Gatling gun? Or scorch the earth with the ridiculous napalm shot? But this doesn't mean the artillerist is some sort of ranged glass cannon. Far from it. The artillerist comes with a surprising amount of speed and shields that mean you can tank a lot of hits other classes might not get away with. Gameplay-wise, if you hit enemies with your abilities, it fills up your firepower gauge. Depending on how much firepower you have, you gain a 10%, 20% or even 30% damage increase. Once you fill up the firepower to full, you can activate barrage mode. And in barrage mode, you hop into your siege cannon and unleash bombastic DPS. Your awakening abilities are Missile Barrage, a targeted ability raining down explosive bullets in a big circular area and Heavy Turret, spawns a turret at the targeted location, dealing big amounts of area of effect damage and additionally shooting a large beam. Those abilities are being repeated multiple times before the turret despawns. So if you want to be the me in Ridiculous Mech, Artillerist is for you. The last advanced class we have to talk about is Sharpshooter. Guns? In my fantasy game? No thank you, sir. If you want a ranged physical DPS advanced class but don't need those loud clumsy guns, then Sharpshooter is the arrow-popping powerhouse for you. The Sharpshooter blends ranged and melee combat. You'll rain damage down from range, then, when your melee cooldowns are up and it's safe, you'll wait into melee to do even more damage. But you won't be doing this alone. The Sharpshooter's core class mechanic has a trusty companion you can summon that helps you with either sustained damage with a debuff or burst damage by making the birdie explode. Sorry, birdie. Some standard ranged abilities are Arrow Shower, a placed AoE barrage attack, Arrow Wave sends a tornado arrow hitting an enemy up to four times, and some melee abilities are Blade Storm, unleashes a flurry of blades around you, and Claymore Mine, set up a mine at the target location and retreat at the same time, knocking enemies back and dealing damage on impact. If you hit enemies with your abilities, you will gain Hawk Meter, displayed at the bottom middle of your user interface. Once it fills up all the way, you can summon your Silver Hawk. Your Silver Hawk assists you with attacking enemies and can use two active abilities. Wings of Storm, the Hawk flies in a circle at the target location, doing area of effect damage. And Last Rush, sends the Silver Hawk toward the target location exploding for a huge amount of damage. Keep in mind, your pet disappears after using this ability, so don't use it too early to get the most out of it. Now to your awakening abilities. Fenrir's Messenger summons a big ghost wolf that charges towards the target location. And Golden Eye is a bird apocalypse tornado to take out nearby foes. Additionally, you also gain a powerful stealth for 7 seconds. Sharpshooter is the quintessential archer, so if that's what you're looking for in your video games, then this is the one for you. Alright, I hope this helped you get an overview of the Gunners and all its advanced classes. If you need additional information or you want to check out the game, then click the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day!